Now, given that South Africa has over 4.5 million jobless citizens, a strong entrepreneurial culture is necessary to shape and develop the future of our economy as big business and government cannot be relied upon to create all of the jobs that are needed. Enter Tracy Webster, CEO of the Branson Entrepreneurship Center, Kidipreneur, who hopes to nurture entrepreneurship from the cradle through early adulthood. Tracy, thank you so much for joining us here on Beyond Markets. A very innovative, uh, exciting uh, venture that you are involved in. And of course, we made the case in the introduction there why it's so critical yeah. for organizations such as yourself to become involved. Take us through what exactly it is that you do and how young are the kids that start off with being um, you know, trained in the importance and the, the, the significance of entrepreneurship and being able to rely on one's own activities to be economically active and independent? Sure, there are actually two pieces of this uh, to the story. And the, the first piece is that the Branson Center of Entrepreneurship uh, supports young entrepreneurs that are typically between 25 to 35 uh, that have already got a business up and running, but really need the business knowledge and skills to help them and grow, to grow and expand their businesses as long as, uh, as well as mentorship. Mm -hmm. uh, but one of the, the most exciting stories coming out of the center right now is that there's a young entrepreneur called Michelle Smith, mm -hmm. who uh, has a social enterprise uh, called Kitty World. Uh, she's been through all of our training on the mentorship program, and one of the programs she runs is something called Kiddiepreneur. And she targets children from the age of 10 to 16. She goes into communities. She, again, uses the same philosophy of the Branson Center, which is hands-on practical training around getting a business up and running and making mm -hmm. it sustainable. Um, and one of the, the, the beautiful stories that is coming out right now is that uh, she trained a, a rural community in KwaZulu-Natal. There's a, a young boy by the name of Mkize. He got a little business up and running. Um, it's, it's plucking um, um, chickens. It's become sustainable. And he's able to support himself and put uh, four of his siblings through school. Mm -hmm. So I think it just goes to show that um, if we come alongside, whether you're a child, whether you are 25, whether you are 35, um, and you've got that entrepreneurial spirit, mm -hmm. um, and you really want to make a difference, you really want to support yourself, you want to become sustainable, we really do um, have uh, the, the, the knowledge to train people in, mm -hmm. in, in becoming that. How difficult or how challenging mm -hmm. is it to train young people, particularly about what um, the economy is about and how it works and where entrepreneurs fit in? What are the kind of special uh, mechanisms that are used to communicate and to inculcate economic principles um, and, and, and you know the kinds of lessons that you need to require to a particularly young audience, uh, young people who perhaps don't have the kind of experience or know about the world of work? Sure. I mean, I think the reality is that the way in which we train is this practical, it's hands-on, it's the information that you take. How do you apply it to your own situation, mm. your own circumstances? Um, you, you know, we, we use a lot of um, uh, activities such as who is your customer? Who, mm -hmm. who are you trying to sell your product to? Draw that person. Who are they? Give us an example. Um, so everything we do, we make it uh, very applicable to that person and at what level they, they're at. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Now, of course, these are young people. We often uh, hear about people raising concerns about children and working and, of course, uh, the importance of children being protected and not being exploited. We know that in places like Pakistan and some of the East uh, Asian countries, the question of child labor is a big issue. What is the difference here between um, you know, getting a kid uh, to make a football in a sweatshop and getting a kid to understand a market opportunity that will allow him or her to be self-sustaining and, and economically and financially independent. I mean, I think the main difference is that this is their own business. This is not working for somebody else under their own conditions, um, producing something that somebody else is going to benefit. This is about a child or uh, whoever it is that we're dealing with is about taking responsibility for themselves, not waiting for a handout, not waiting for uh, government and, and relying on it. It's about personal development and around saying, this is my life. Mm -hmm. I get to make the choices. I get to be responsible for my own life. And the decisions that I take are ultimately um, going to affect me and, 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 and those outcomes. Mm -hmm. um, so that's very much uh, around what we do. A huge component of what we do is around personal development. It's also around leadership 
leadership development okay. and also around just the understanding that you're a role model in your own community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so with a lot of our entrepreneurs, there's a constant reminder saying you might be young, but actually you're the leader in your community, mm -hmm. you're the role model, they're little eyes that are watching you all the time. So how are you conducting your life? How mm -hmm. are you setting an example uh, for the next generation, um, no matter what that generation is, to, to really see an example? Because mm -hmm. I think that's how we learn. We, yeah. we learn from our parents, we, we learn from older people and members in our community. Um, so, so that's a huge component of what we do. Tracy, final question. Of course, young people often, you know, sponges for information, but often also very critical pushing back. Um, in, in training young, young entrepreneurs and, and people who are uh, even younger than, you know, your, 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 your teenagers or your young adults, what are the kinds of things that you guys have learned as trainers, as people involved in this, about this section of our community, this young group of people? What is it that you take from this process um, about you know how they absorb the information and how they respond to the kind of training and skills development that an institution like yours is offering? Well, we're very passionate about monitoring and evaluating what we do um, and getting constant feedback um, from the entrepreneurs around how we're doing, um, how they're taking the knowledge and actually applying it to their business. We have a very much an open door policy where entrepreneurs can come and sit at our desk, ask us questions. If they didn't understand it, you know, you, you constantly have to ask until mm -hmm. you understand it. But we really encourage debate. We really encourage, um, uh, you know, really wrestling through a problem. Um, and, and participation. And participation. There's, there's no such thing as a lecturer standing up and giving information um, uh, uh, lecture style. We don't believe in that at all. It, mm -hmm. it's, it's participation and learning from your peers. So peer-to-peer -peer education is actually critical um, for your own learning curve. Somebody might be facing the same problem that you're facing and how they overcome it. You learn lessons from each other in order to overcome the, your own trials and tribulations.